Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zonta of Rebo Products. This screencast will showcase how to use the cut face tool within Revit to handle collision situations with piping against structural content. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zonta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017 in a plan view. I have the couple beams, a column, and some pipes that are running through that particular beam. If we take a look at this in 3D, you can see what we're talking about. How do we use one of the tools that we have in our Revit software under openings? You can say uh, by face, you have shaft, you have wall, vertical, and dormer. If I select the beam, I can actually choose, if they give it to you, the ability to cut that face. Now, um, if we go back and say by face, for that particular command, it will ask us to pick the face that we want to cut. So we'll zoom in here and we'll pick that vertical face. Now that that vertical face is selected, uh, we can head over to a particular view that makes it a little easier to draw. And we can either try to use the pick line tool to pick the circle and lock it. And the reason we do this is because if that pipe size should change, then the opening will also change and kind of go with it. So we'll do this for the remainder of the pipes. And unfortunately, when you look at Revit and how it kind of creates objects, you would think that this would be one cons considered one object, but it's not. It's actually four little arcs that make up this uh, pipe. So now that you've used the tool to cut exactly the size you need, um, that may not also be correct because you have to take into account things like uh, insulation around the pipe um, or uh, just the size that's needed, the extra size it needs, it needs for the pipes to go through. So let's do this instead. Um, let's delete the line work um, that we've created earlier. And let's use the pick method again, but this time set an offset. And so let's assume you have a one inch insulation around the pipe, plus say uh, an eighth of an inch. So let's do one and a quarter. As an offset. So we'll zoom in here and we'll pick this again. This time I won't lock it just for the sake of speed. Also, be very careful of working too fast. As you can see, you'll get lines created on the wrong offset side or you end up picking the wrong thing. If you want to make your life a little faster and easier, you can also just do a window crossing and copy multiple times from the center of that circle to the center of these circles. Now that opening makes a little bit more sense and we'll finish the command. Now if it tells you you cannot have more than one loop then that basically means that I'm trying to sketch this opening as multiple openings and we can't have that. So we'll just do one. We'll delete it. We'll hit finish and it'll create the opening. If I shade it you can kind of see that opening makes a little bit more sense. Lastly uh, if the pipes did have insulation, and we add insulation, say one inch insulation, and we'll do the default, that's fine, we'll hit OK, it creates it, and you can still see that the opening that we created can handle that insulation. How do we do the others? All we need to do is select that particular opening and copy it. So we'll go over here, and we'll say copy multiple times from the center to the other centers. And then again, look at it in 3D to verify that it's cutting through. If it is, then it's good. Uh, another thing you can do is you can just select all the pipes and temporarily hide them. And so you can see what's going on. And that's it. That's how you create a cut opening inside beams 
to handle some collision interference with piping. Thank you very much for watching.